Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm going to start off by reading something off of this piece of paper. <clears throat> Good evening. We are part of a group. We meet once a week, every week, for the entire day. <laughs> what have we been working on? We have been working on developing a practice of radical accountability through vigorous self-awareness and self-surveillance. I'll repeat so that it's clear. A practice of radical accountability through vigorous self-awareness and self-surveillance. You may notice that we have our phones strapped to our bodies. This is because... <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> This is because we record everything that we do, every action, every interaction, and review the footage every week. The reason that we do this is twofold. One, we want to be held accountable for our actions as a way to minimize the amount of harm that we cause as we move through the world in the bodies that we've been given. Two, we believe that the work that we're doing has great value and will make a vital contribution to the evolution of man, sorry, humankind through rigorous, <laughs> through a rigorous practice of continuous analysis, reflection, and feedback. We will seed the beginnings of new emotional technologies to create a safer and more interconnected world. Brian, it's your time. Um, um, <clears throat> we are all men. Uh, or, sorry, let's get the one. Let us address the elephant in the room. <clears throat> we are all men. Uh, th th this group is not just for men. Um, it is for people of all genders. Um, the four of us came together to work because of a shared frustration with masculinity. It is no secret that we are experiencing a crisis of masculinity in this country. This is because the technology of masculinity is outdated and bad. <laughs> I'll repeat um, so that it is clear. Masculinity as a technology is outdated and bad. Masculinity as a spiritual practice is broken and bad. Masculinity as it is currently wielded is acquisitive and disempowering. It damages society and its people, and it damages those who wield it. We believe that no appropriate model of masculinity currently exists. There is a vacuum, a vacuum which is currently being filled by openly misogynist and hyper-capitalist ideologues who infect our discourse and poison the minds of young men. Tonight, we will be presenting the accountability techniques we have developed together. The techniques are therapeutic, but they are not therapy. They are mental exercises that help us to create self-knowledge. If you feel that any of these exercises are activating to you, and you would like to talk more about the work, you can email us. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. <laughs> and now, it is my pleasure to introduce Peter. Uh, he's going to be facilitating this evening. And I don't really want to say too much else. I want to let the work speak for itself. <laughs> Um, thank you all for coming. Um, hi. You are correct. I am Peter. Um, and I'd just like to say uh, welcome, obviously. And also, I'd like to say um, if you feel the need to laugh, that's okay. Um, obviously, we're doing something extremely serious. <laughs> but um, it's okay to have the reaction that your body wants to have. Also, um, please be as uh, focused as you possibly can be. 
um, because we are trying to create a kind of hermetic environment. Uh, so just really be focused. Is everyone focused? Oh, that's music to my ears. Okay, great. So the first um, activity that we're going to pursue, pursue is called dailies, and which is uh, named after the practice of reviewing footage at the end of the day on a film shoot. Um, I'll get right into it. So this is Aaron. Obviously, you've, you've, you've seen him on stage already. Aaron is one of my uh, closest friends um, and collaborators. He's a very unique soul, and um, he's been doing the work the longest. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't wait to uh, have him showcase how deep he's gotten into it. Okay? Okay. Are you ready, Aaron? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> cool. Okay. So, five, four, three, two, and one. Aaron, can you pick a day in the last week? <laughs> okay. Have you picked it? Yes. What is the day that you have picked? Tuesday, May 9th. Okay, Tuesday, May 9th. What is the first thing you did on Tuesday, May 9th? The first thing that I did is I opened my eyes and I looked at my ceiling. And what did your ceiling look like? My ceiling is gray and stucco. Okay. Had it changed? From when? From the day prior, had your ceiling changed? No. No. It hadn't changed at all? Not in any perceivable way, no. Okay. Was the light different on this day? Yes. Ah. So it had changed. Yes. It was different. So yes. the light was different. The day before was overcast, and this day was brighter. And what effect did this new kind of light have on your gray and stucco ceiling? It allowed there to be a, a, a shade of light going across it. A shade of light. Uh, yeah, like a, a morning light, an a amber light. A morning light. And which created what kind of effect? Well, uh, it allowed the shadows to kind of have a speckled effect that went across the ceiling. Ah, speckled. Okay. So how aggressive were the shadows? Were they long or are they short? Well, it's very short. It's stucco. Okay. It's stucco. <laughs> and what did you feel as you arose? How did you feel in your body? Hungry. Hungry for what? For food. For what kind of food? Nothing specific. Okay. That's okay. Were you thirsty? No. Were your lips dry? Yes. Okay. Any aches or pains in your body? Yes, below my knees. Where specifically? Uh, between my shins and my knees. And what kind of pain was it? Was it like muscle or bone pain? Um, it's, a, it's a joint pain. I'm not sure if that's muscle or bone. Okay. And it was in both knees? Uh, yes. Okay. Was it more acute in one knee or the other? Yes, my right knee. In your right knee. Okay. So, let's recap for a second. You're in your bed. You awake. You are staring at the gray stucco ceiling, which has a speckled effect across it because of the amber morning light. You are hungry, but you don't know for what. Your lips are dry and you are thirsty. And there is joint pain in both knees, but more acutely in your right knee. Aaron, what are you wearing? Nothing. You're naked? Yes. Are you under the covers? Yes. What color are your covers? My sheets are gray and my blanket is gray. They're a matching set. <laughs> and what color did your sheets change into when they intersected with that morning light? I wasn't observant of that at that moment. <laughs> okay, so we'd actually stop here usually. Yeah. <clears throat> because if Aaron is aware of how the light is affecting his ceiling, right, it would make sense that he would also be aware of how the color has changed on his gray sheets. So it's kind of a mistake. Yeah. But that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. It's fine. All right. So, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So, Aaron, what time is it? 7 08 a.m. And how do you know that? I know that because I look to my right at my phone. Is that your first action of the day? No. My first action is that I remove some gunk from my eye. Gunk? Mm hmm. Um, gunk, I'm not sure what the technical term is. Okay, that's fine. Okay. How did you remove the gunk from your eye? I took the forefinger of my left hand and I pushed it into the corner of my right eye. Okay. And how did it leave your eye? Well, 
to be more specific, I took the forefinger of my left hand. Oh, so wait, your hand moved across your body? Isn't that the first thing that happened? Yes, it did, yes, yes. Okay. It moved across my body, over the bridge of my nose, into the corner of my right eye, and then I, I pushed gently but firmly, and I scraped the gunk from my eye. And did the gunk leave a trail as it left your eye? Like across no. your nose at all? No, no, no. There was no, no, it, no it didn't leave residual a trail, gunk? but it left a sensation of wetness. Mm. And, and as, my, as my fingers approached my eyes, they, they closed. Uh, yeah, they, they started. So your open. eyes are open or are they closed when you started? Uh, they, I'm sorry, it's not. Can I say something to the audience? No. <laughs> um, I'd like don't to apologize. Make, I'd like to make a correction. That's fine. My eyes were open, and as my fingers approached them, they closed. I want to note something. Mm -hmm. You said that initially it was just your forefinger that went to your eye? Yes. But actually what you showed me just then was a kind of forefinger and thumb. Mm -hmm. So your thumb was involved, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So there's a discrepancy there. Yes. Can you show me the exact shape that your thumb and forefinger are in when you approach the gunk in your eyes? Yes. Kind of like the shape of a pincer. Uh, the pincer is kind of metaphorical, right? Mm, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so what was the precise distance, do you think, between your thumb and your forefinger? If I had to guess, I would say about an inch. About an inch. OK. Can you show everyone exactly how you took uh, the gunk out of your eye? Sure. Can I take my glasses off? Totally. Okay, can you do that at half speed, actually? Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, now quarter speed. Okay, here it comes. The finger, the thumb, the gunk, the trail, the flick. Okay, I want to fast forward to your hinge point. Okay, so hinge point, just so you all know, is actually a phrase that we use to refer to a part of your day in which there was a sort of acute lapse in awareness. It's a moment where you feel that you transgress, but it was like the most difficult trans uh, transgression of your day. It's a moment in your day where you felt a distance between the self that you want to be and the self that you were in that moment. So Aaron, five, four, three, two, one. What is your hinge point? I was somewhat rude to a barista. Okay. So Aaron, I want you to answer a question for me. How was your choice to be rude to that barista? How was it seated in those very early moments of your day? How was it seated in the gray stucco ceiling, in the speckled quality of the light, in the pain in the knees, in the hunger and the lack of thirst, but dry lips? How is it seated in when you took the gunk from out of your eye? I don't know. OK, so that's the work. That's yeah. like what we're doing. <laughs> we're doing yeah. right. okay. Can I put my glasses back on? Totally. Thanks. So as you can see, um, uh, it's, it's quite difficult. Um, and requires a great deal of attention. But Aaron, that was really excellent. Thank you. And that's a showcase of someone who's really, really engaged with the work. Now I want to uh, actually bring on stage Tim. So Aaron, if you don't mind sitting down. Sure. Yeah. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah. so, um, Tim is a real light. Uh, he's, uh, <laughs> he's a really great person. And uh, I've known him for a while, not as long as I've known Aaron, but I've known Tim for a great long while. Um, he's very smart. Very talented, very musically talented. OK, Tim, so let's dive in. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three, two, and one. Tim, I want you to pick a day in the last week. Yesterday. And what day was yesterday? That was uh, Tuesday the 9th. Tuesday the 9th. Yes. OK, and what month? May. OK. What was the first thing you did on Tuesday, May 9th? OK, so uh, the first thing I did um, is I wake up, uh, and I'm f face down on the bed. I'm sort of face down. And um, uh, my, my, my pillow, one of two pillows, is, is under my uh, chin, under my neck. Um, and my arms are, are over it, so it's just stretching back and forth over, over the pillow. OK. And what is your body doing? Like, what is the rest of your body doing? What is your torso doing? What are your legs doing? Yeah, so my torso is usually flat like a board. Um, and my legs are sometimes twisted. Were they twisted on this day? Um, I don't 
remember because I was... You don't remember? Yeah, I was, I was, so I don't remember because I was so focused in my action on the hugging of the pillow. Right, so yeah. you should know, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, where should your attention be? It should be my whole body, it should be my whole body, yeah. <laughs> okay, I also have another question, Tim. Yes. Is your bed soft? Yes. How soft? It's pretty soft. I mean, it could be, it could be firmer, definitely, but it's, 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 it's pretty soft. My bed is pretty, pretty soft. Pretty soft, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to use the qualifier that you used, pretty soft. So if your bed is pretty soft yeah. and you are hugging an entire pillow, mm -hmm. aren't you sinking into the bed? So I'm having trouble answering that one because I'm sinking into the pillow. I'm definitely sinking into the pillow. Okay, Tim, <laughs> but for Tim, the bed, so I'm, the I'm, question my that I was asking, yes, right, of course, is, is, is that you said quite confidently, yeah. right, that you were flat as a board. Yes. Right at the beginning, you yes. said, "I'm flat as a board." Yes. Basically, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, of course. So, if you were flat as a board, but you were hugging a pillow and you were slightly sinking in, it means that there's some kind of bend in your back, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Right. So, so your then, back then, is bending, and I don't know what the word for that would be. So then my body is slightly like, um, like, uh, like it's concave, like concave, concave, yeah, yeah like a concave, concave back, back of sure. some description. Yeah. So my back is concave. Yeah, yeah. it's concave. Does, is there like a precise term for that? Does anyone does anyone know what that term I'll is? I'll look it up. I think concave. Can con someone look it up? If yeah, they don't I'm, know. I'm gonna look it up. I'm looking it up. Okay. <laughs> okay. And just just for my reference, were your legs twisted at all? So I don't remember for sure, right. but I'm pretty sure they were straight, and maybe like my toes were pointed. I, I'm well, I, 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 uh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, do we establish? I don't mean to interrupt, but do, do we establish? Did we? Is this? Uh, so th this is still exactly how, how you, you woke up this morning, right? Yeah, th yeah, this is the position my body was in when I woke up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's up, Aaron? I found it. The, the term is lordosis. It's a curving of the lumbar spine. And do you say it like lordosis of the spine? There's, how... a, lordosis, there's a lordosis of the spine. Right. Okay. Yeah. okay. So you're hugging an entire pillow, yeah. and you're sinking into your bed, and you have been afflicted with a slight lordosis Sorry, of the spine. Sorry, can I just say that a few times so I get that word in my, in my totally. body? Yeah, so my, I, had, I, had, I had lord... Lordosis. Lord lordosis. Thank you. Lordosis. Okay, thank you. So, so my, bot, my, bot, my back was lordo lordosis. Lordosis. Sorry, lordosis. 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 lordosis of the spine. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, so... You don't need to apologize, just focus. I don't need to apologize, I just need to focus. Yeah. My body, my body was lord... My body lordosis. Was, lordosis. Lordosis. Okay, so lordosis. My, bo my body was lordosis, lordosis. and I was hugging lordosis. the... Lordosis. Lord and then osis. Lord. Lord Osis. My body was Lord Osis, and I was, I was, and I'm a stomach sleeper, and I was hugging the pillow, and my legs weren't twisted; they were straight. And, 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 and I do remember this. And my toes, they were pointed, and they were pointed over the mattress. All of your toes? Yes, all of my toes. Okay, amazing. Okay. So, what position is your body in? Like, what sensation are you feeling? Um, uh, a hugging, like a, I'm a, 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 a hugging the pillow, so like a bringing towards and a pushing away. So, like a pressure towards and a pressure out and away. Yes, a pressure towards and a pressure out and away. Yes. So, what's the next thing that occurs, Tim? Uh, so, the next thing is I go to my phone. So, your hand goes to your phone. No, 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 no. The next thing is my head turns to my phone. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, my head. Uh, so next thing is my head goes to where my my head goes to my where my phone is, and it's on uh, uh, it's on a stool by my bed. Yes. Okay. And at what speed is your head turning, and which direction? Okay. So it's it's to to the right. So my head okay. turns to the right, and the, uh, so okay. So my chin is in the pillow, and my chin's in the pillow, and then um, my chin moves up from the pillow, and so my chin is on the pillow, and then but then where my chin on the pillow is is then replaced by my cheek. So then that my I replace where on the pillow my chin is with where my, with my cheek is, so then I can stare at my phone. Right. So yeah. what you're saying is that you're putting your cheek in an indentation that was previously created by your chin. Yes, I'm putting my cheek in an indentation that was previously created by my chin. Yes. And then subsequently, right? Your cheek makes a wider indentation in that pillow. Yes, my cheek. Yes, my cheek makes a, my cheek made a wider indentation in that pillow. Yes. Because your head has not left the pillow yet. Exactly. Yes. Um, and so then my head turns towards my phone. My head turns to my phone, uh, which I see uh, is on top of a stool and on top of a book. And what kind of book? Uh, it, it, uh, it's a biography of President Nixon. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and what color is the stool? Uh, the stool, it's a wood-colored stool. Wood-colored? Yes. What do you mean by that? It's a, it's a wood-colored stool. What do you mean by wood-colored? So it's an Ikea stool, and the color's coming black, white, and wood. And but so like, what color is that precisely? Because assume that I don't have a prior knowledge of Ikea. It's, it's a wood-colored stool. It's a wood-colored stool. It's a, yeah, it's... it's but should you, so is it brown? Like, what quality of brown? Like, be specific. Well, the color is black and white and wood-colored. Okay. So it's, it's light brown. It's light brown. It's that's light brown. Fine. All right. It's a light brown it. stool. No, that's fine. It's a light brown... It's, I understand. Yep. Yeah, so, no, yeah. no. Yep. Yeah, light brown. All right. Cool. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. let's recap for a second. Mm -hmm. You have awoken mm -hmm. with your head 
in your pillow, because you're hugging an entire pillow. Yes. Your bed is pretty soft. Yes. And so you have lordosis of the spine. Yes. Slightly, slightly. You're feeling a pressure towards and a pressure out and away. And the first thing that you do is you turn your head to the right yes. to look at your phone. Mm -hmm. And as you're doing this, the indentation that had been created by your chin is now become a place for your cheek. Yes. And your cheek is creating an indentation in that very same pillow. Yes. And you look and you see a stool of indeterminately brown color. You see your phone. You see a book written by who? Okay, so you don't know. No, I do, That's uh, fine. That's it's fine. No, Will, it's fine. It's Will or it's, it's okay. It's, some, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. So, Tim, I want you to fast forward to your hinge point, mm -hmm. and I want you to connect in as much detail as you possibly can yeah. the events in your early morning that led to you making that maladaptive decision, that transgressive decision. That moment where you lacked awareness. Yeah. I want you to connect those events directly. Tim, what is your hinge point? Mm -hmm. So I, 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 ignored, I ignored the text of a family member. So I received a text from a family member, and I didn't respond to it. Um, and mm -hmm. and um, so what I'm connecting n now with that, with you, I'm, what I'm connecting now with you, doing the work, doing the work with you, yeah. um, the way I'm connecting that, that maladaptive moment with how I start the day uh -huh. is that, so I, I started, so I, so I started the day um, by hugging. Uh-huh. Yeah? So I started the day by hugging, and, um, and so that, um, that hugging was giving my, me comfort, giving me familial comfort, it gave me familial, so I, so, so I self-sabotaged. So I started the day by hugging, and I got that comfort that I could have gotten from my family, from the womb from my family, from the, you know, the family womb, and so I got from the, the womb of the, of the pillow, I got from the womb of the pillow. Um, and so because I already gave myself that love from the pillow, when the family was in a position to be in that exchange of love and affection, I didn't need it, because I'd already gotten the inanimate love from the pillow, because I had made the pillow my family already. Already, which was totally maladaptive, as you said. You know, like it was because the pillow became my. Fi I had made the pillow my family. The pillow was my family at that moment. So, like, which is maladaptive for sure. The pillow was my family at that moment. Okay. At, that mo at, at the beginning of the day, the, the, at the beginning of the day, the pillow. The pillow uh, I had made the pillow my family. Okay. <laughs> the pillow was your family. That's a very psychoanalytic understanding of that moment, right? Yeah. 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 Projecting your family onto the pillow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and obviously, a data like that, in which the um, subconscious is made and laid bare, it's important. It's important to understand those kinds of things, yeah. obviously. However, it's just a small part of a composite whole. It's just a tiny detail amongst other many more precise details. So Tim, I really want to commend you Thanks. for doing what you just did. Thanks. I know it can be difficult. I know it felt bad to fail and not know who wrote the book. Yeah, it's, I, <laughs> I, I, I can. Or what color the stool was. I feel just a light brown, yeah. But it's okay. It's, sorry. <laughs> I'm feeling a little tapped out. <laughs> it's kind of intense to do this kind of thing. And obviously, Tim, you're feeling a little low. Yeah. So let's take a second. Let's clean the slate a little bit. Tim, why don't you sit back in your seat, and we'll uh, listen to some music. I'm going to get a bottle of water, just to be transparent. <coughs>
we're going to do another very similar exercise. It's another daily, but it's going to be with Brian. <laughs> public, public speaking for me is like, yeah. <laughs> Brian is the obviously <laughs> newest member of the group. Yeah. And uh, he's got a lot of. Uh, sorry. It's, it's okay. It's bold, it's sorry. I understand. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yes, yeah, so you had to move your vape. Um, <laughs> I wasn't I was doing it inside. Yeah. Brian's the newest member of the group, as I said, obviously. <laughs> and, uh, but he's got a great energy, and I, I do count him as one of my friends now. And um, Brian is not really ready to really do a daily, because it actually takes a great deal of rigor and attention and focus to do that. And Brian is uh, not quite there. So what we often do in that circumstance is we provide support. And in this case, that support is going to be Aaron. Aaron will be acting as what we call a secondary in this interaction and will be supporting Brian through it in a way uh, that is uh, generative and helpful. Okay. All right. So, yep. Brian, yep. are you ready? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, great. Yeah. Cool. So, Brian, I'd like you to pick a day in the last week. Yeah. Uh, yesterday. Yeah. Okay. And what day was yesterday? Yesterday was Monday. No. Or, uh, no, yesterday, yesterday was Tuesday. <laughs> yesterday was Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. 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 All right, so Sorry. I, I really to, do I, need to know the days of the week. <laughs> yeah, I meant Tuesday. I'm, I meant that's Tuesday. really crucial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's okay. Let's All right. Go. So. Yeah. Tuesday. What time did you awake on Tuesday? It was um, around 11 uh, in, in the morning. Around 11. What time specifically? Uh, um, right. Uh, uh, I want to say 11.15. Okay. Did you have proof of that? Um, no, no. Uh, like I was saying, you know, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't sure exactly. You know, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. All right. So when you woke up around 11.15, what were you feeling in your body? Um, I, I, was, I was sweating uh, be, because, I was, because I was hot. Do you know what the precise the temperature detail. was? Uh, y yes. Uh, it, was, it was 70 degrees. Um, yeah. And what was your proof of that? Because, uh, because I, I forgot to set the, the thermostat down the night before. Okay. And well, that seems like... Always, so you, don't, you didn't actually look at the thermostat? I, well, yeah, um, not in like the morning, I guess. Right, yeah. so you didn't precisely know. Okay. That's fine. So where are you sweating okay. from? Um, I, uh, I'm sweating from my... It's okay, uh, you know your body. Okay, my, 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 my armpits and, mm -hmm. and my, my torso. Okay, so Thank the you. front of your torso or the back of your torso? Um, the, the front. The front, yeah. okay. Any back sweat? No back sweat at all? Uh, the, yeah, there, there, was, there was some in the, the back as well. Yeah. Okay, anything... <laughs> Musty down there in the area of your crotch? Uh, you sweating down there at all? Uh, uh, yeah, 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 probably, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Okay, great. So, Brian, when I ask you a question like that, uh -huh. right, which is obviously a little invasive, you need to respond honestly. Yeah, it's not, yeah, yeah. it's okay. So, okay, yeah. right, don't be ashamed, it's I, fine. I'm not, yeah, okay. just let it go. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm not, all right. All right, okay. so, Brian, what is the n nature of this sweat? Is it kind of like vague dampness? Is it a complete slickness? Um, it's it's more of a uh, a nagging uh, dampness more than more than like a total slickness. Yeah. Okay. So nagging is very metaphorical. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, uh, I guess I, I mean it was it was like annoying to me. Right. So yeah. it was uncomfortable. Yes. Yes. It was a discomfitting sweat. Yes. Okay. And how would you rate that discomfitting sweat on a scale of one to ten? Um, Say the number. You uh, know the number. Uh, four. The number. Four. four. Okay. Four. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, Brian, it is around 11.15 a.m. You think the temperature might be 70 degrees, is that right? I mean, I, well, okay, I want to go back to that because I, I'm pretty sure about the temperature. I mean, okay, but usually, if you yeah. hadn't seen it, right. you don't know. You're making a little guess. You're right. You're yeah. right. You're okay, right. You're right. so you're, right. you're sweating. Yes. Yeah. Right, and so what is the next thing that you do? You are sweating, it's a discomfitting sweat, rated around a four on a scale of one to 10. What do you do? Um, I, uh, I bolt, I bolt up. Um, you, yeah. you bolt up? Yeah, I sort of, I, yeah, I, 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 I bolted up, yeah, like in my, hinging, uh, I guess, like from my, my pelvis, um, I, yeah, like. You bolted up? Bolt, bolted up. Yeah. Okay, so were you lying flat on your back? Um, yeah, uh, yes, yes. Okay, and is that how you normally sleep? Yes, yes. Okay, and what are your arms doing? Are they completely um, straight? Just like to, yeah, I guess just like to my side, just like. Or, or are they yeah. usually a little messier? Um, 
Yeah, I yeah. guess. Yes. Yeah, it's like a, a but little. They're a little messier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like yeah, they're yeah, a little messier. Me a messier, sure. Okay, and so take me from what your um, right arm is doing. What is um, your, where yeah. is your right arm? What's going on? My my right arm is uh, it's on my chest, I guess. Um, uh huh. Yeah, it's my, yeah it's, or it's okay. like torso. I guess Tor like between okay. the good, yeah. good that's more of the belly, but sure. okay. Yeah, it's, so <laughs> it's on your torso. Yeah. Uh, so can you take me? What's your left arm doing? Uh, my left arm is um, it's like bracing myself uh, to 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 bolt. I guess to, right. To so bolt you're up. you're bracing yourself to bolt. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah before I before I get up. Yeah, it's sort of like. Bracing myself. You're bracing, bracing yourself yeah, to yeah. just bolt up. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, yeah. well that's fine. Um, so you're bracing yourself to bolt up. Is that really the first action of your day? Uh, you, you know, know I don't. Just trust I, yourself. I, I, I mean, is. yeah. Is that it? Yeah. I, yes. Yeah, yes. Okay, yes. Okay, my cool. my right arm. Yeah, my right arm is the first thing to move all day in the morning. Yeah. Yes. Your right arm. My right arm. Yeah. We were just talking about your left arm. No. Um, uh, we no, I'm talking I'm about sorry. your left arm. I'm sorry. I, no, I meant my right arm. I meant my right arm. You mentioned. I, I, I meant my, my right arm's. Yeah. Okay. No, my, so I was. Yeah. Just, obviously, we're getting a little confused okay. here. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you're going to need a little bit. <laughs> you're going to need a little bit more support. Okay. Uh -huh. So Tim, why don't you jump in here? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And act as a as a tertiary. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. You're bracing yourself to bolt with your left arm. With my uh, right arm. Oh, your right yeah, arm. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's what we established. Yeah. With your right arm. Uh, Excuse yeah. me. I know. It got a little confusing there. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ready to go forward. Yeah. So, Brian, when you bolted up, mm -hmm. was there like a rush of wind as you bolted up? Like, what was the speed of that? Um, yeah. Um, it, it was pretty fast, I think. Pretty but, fast. Um, but it not, it's sort of like, uh, it's like I'm not awake enough to register it, uh, I guess. What do you mean? I, I like it's like uh, like it's like too early. I guess it's like too I early. Yeah, yeah. What does too early mean? Uh, like you know, I just I just, uh, I I guess I'm not registering a lot. Like I'm not awake, you know, and I you uh, but know yeah. You're with it enough to register that you know your left arm is bracing yourself to bolt. Yes. Yeah. You know roughly what time it is, so you're aware, yeah. right? Yeah. So what's the yeah. speed? Well, maybe, yeah. Have you had your coffee yet? Because maybe he couldn't register without his coffee. Without no, I don't think so. Because that's much, much later in the timeline. Well, like, I'm if he did have it at all, it just has no bearing on this but I'm just saying that well, if, he, if he hadn't known... I mean, all if right, he that's enough. Sorry. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. It's too early. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, Brian, then, um, were you under the covers? Yes, yes. And, 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 and these covers, what did they do as you bolted up? Um, they s slide down. Sliding. They sliding down. Yeah. slid down. Yeah. Or, or uh, I guess yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they sort of they flip over. Nice. They because flip over. Right. Good. Because, yeah, exactly. Good. because uh, I, I'm going kind of fast. You know, right, right. Yeah. But, but they don't really flip because like a flip implies a full revolution. Okay. Uh, right. I would say that they probably flop. Okay. Right. That's more specific. Okay, flop. Yeah. No, yeah. for sure, for sure, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Brian. Yeah. We're going to stop it there. Okay. And I'm going to ask you to pinpoint your hinge point. Okay. Okay? Okay. And I'm going to actually ask Tim and Aaron to help you out with that. So, obviously, when someone's really new to this kind of process, like, it's quite difficult to glean enough information such that the information can inform your understanding of the hinge point. So, I just want to know his hinge point. Are you guys ready? No, we're not. Sorry. Okay. So, I just, just want to know his hinge point, and maybe we'll get some further analysis. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not uh, I don't need it. That's uh, it. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. you know, they're... Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. All right. So, Brian, five, yes. four, three, two, one. What is your hinge point? Um, I ordered McDonald's um, to my apartment. To my apartment. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and what was maladaptive about ordering um, McDonald's? Uh, yeah. Uh, so, I guess, you know, I like McDonald's. Um, but okay. it's, like, something that's sort of supposed to be like a real like a reward I guess like, okay. like and, and, and like I don't like to order like delivery usually um, but like you know if I do I guess it's like supposed to be like a something that's like a reward but in this case like it wasn't it it was like the like the opposite of a reward like because like I had I had like I had like this like you know kind of fucking like nothing day 
and like I, I like it was. It's just something that should have been a reward that was the op opposite of. I, can, I don't know why I can't think of it. It's the opposite of a reward. Reward. <laughs> it's the opposite. Uh, of yeah. Rewards, okay. Yeah. That's good. All right. That's good. Well, yeah. thank okay. you, Brian. And um, sorry. Uh, I, I think I have an idea of, of, of how it was connected to, to how I uh, woke up. Okay. To the moment. Yeah. Well, give it a shot. Um, um, yes. Um, I, I, so when I bolted up in the morning, you, um, you just didn't bolt up like to wake up. You know what I mean? It's just like not, like I just like, uh, you know, it's like so weird. It's like so crazy. So it's just like, I, I, know, I just know, um, I just, I just know that I, I just know that I shouldn't have bolted up. You know, I just know that that's not. I know that I shouldn't have bolted up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I really want to commend Brian here. It's tough to do that, especially when you haven't done it, you know, thousands of times. <laughs> and also, Brian, like, I'm very proud of you. You know, it's also hard for you specifically. You're predisposed to being scattered. This is not the easiest thing for you. No, yeah. No, no. Okay, so we're actually going to move on to something a little bit more uh, participatory. Um, we're actually going to involve all of you in this. So there is a, uh, another activity that we pursue. Obviously, we film everything that we do. So like I'm filming from here, they are filming from there. Uh, and when we do that, we then review the footage, the actual footage. So actually, if we could unmute the projector. Great. So, Brian, would you mind uh, getting back here and uh, could the rest of you just set up? Yeah. So we review this footage and the goal of this is to understand exactly what is going on. <laughs> like, what is happening, what is happening second to second, what are the linkages that are occurring, and where the lapses in awareness are. So Brian, this is Brian's video actually. So Brian, can you tell us uh, like a title for this video? Um, this is me uh, just at my job. Um, this is me, it's at my job. Uh, or, oh, I, I guess, well, that's not the, I, I guess just what is in the video more is like, What's the title is what uh, I asked. It's me at the bathroom at work washing my hands. Me at the bathroom at work washing my hands. All right, let's take a look. Okay. Good. What happened? What did you see? What are the things that you can pick out? We'll go down the line and then we'll open it up to you all. So, Aaron, what did you see? Sure. I mean, I think it was extremely loaded. I saw a, a lot of detail in. <laughs> I saw a lot of detail. Okay, but what specifically did you see? A lot of detail. Yes, you're right. Yeah, That's of not course, you enough. see that. Yeah. The the moment that I picked up on the most was Brian drying his hands. I thought that that moment had a lot of detail about Brian's character and personality and how he was interacting with both like the sink and the paper towel. Okay, so let's moment. take a look at that moment, so we can really dive in. What was interesting to you about this? Well, he well he wipes. It appears to me that he wipes the 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 sink after. Yeah. 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 Okay. And then goes back to wiping his hands. Yeah. That is interesting. Do you feel like that's a lapse of awareness? I, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to make a conjecture about whether or not. Right, right, right. So Brian, awareness. was it a lapse yeah. in awareness? Did you? I, were you? No, were you I, wiping it's, it. It's kind of funny because it does look like that. But I just. Um, 
I just dropped it. Okay, let's take, let's, it let's look at it again, actually. And then, I, and then that's just me picking Just one second, like, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's so weird. It's, it's I know it's so weird. Right? Yeah, it is weird. Yeah. It's yeah. It is funny. And yeah. Also, yeah. 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 Well, it's also, uh, can, can uh, I also uh, well, say, it, it also looks like he's drying his hands right after he wipes the sink with it, so it's like yeah. there's some communion, with, communion, some like, psychological communion with him. I, and the, well, the that's actual, a little metaphorical. Sure, but I mean, yeah. Okay. Allow, me to yeah. In, allow me to interrupt. Um, uh, let's look at this frame by frame, because I think there's a big issue here. We don't know if he's wiping the sink or not. I, well, yeah. <laughs> One second. Let's take a look. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. Just one second, Tim. Okay. <laughs> yes. So what I see there is yeah. that he actually drops it into the sink. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think what's occurring is that he's picking it up. See, he ha see how he grabs it between his fingers? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. 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 So yeah. like, he, uh, where's the mouse? It's right here. So basically, like, he's actually grabbing it to pick it up, and then it looks like a wipe. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. But he's actually drawing it back in to pick it up. It's so interesting because I think that just sort of proves what's so cool about the work is that like by being specific about whether uh -huh. it's wiping or dropping, oh. we already can tell so much about you know his maladaptive behavior or eventually what would be a maladaptive well, behavior. So it's like just by no, no by no, no by no, yeah, okay. no. So <laughs> there's no way for us to understand if it's maladaptive or not. You're yeah. imputing an intention to it that is not necessarily there. Okay. It is good to distinguish details. Yeah, right? That's what, that's what but I was it's say. not good to then say, well, this is why and this is because. Okay. Right? It's just, what did you see? Okay. What's going on? Yeah. What's happening? Okay. All right. Um, I want to point out something that I noticed. Okay. <laughs> what an explosion. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Okay. I mean, it's kind of beautiful. Actually. I mean, it is. I, uh... But I, I, you know, and 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 forgive me. You know, this does not happen to me that often when I wash my hands. <laughs> no. Uh, I, I, honestly, honestly, I. Uh, you, me neither, really. Yeah, you have no. Yeah. 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 So this is my question: It's like, did you know in that moment that you were sort of exercising a great deal of force? Uh, um, Let's watch it one more time. Yeah. 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 So I guess um, I had just. <laughs> uh, I, I just taken out the the trash at, at work here, and, um, and and you guys see. I guess my fingernails are dirty, so I was just. That's well, a second time. Oh wow! Well. It happened uh, twice. No way. Yeah, right there. Uh, yeah. If you see there, your fingernails are indeed dirty. That's good awareness, Brian. Yeah. Uh, so I was just. I think the. Look at that. Yeah. It's yeah. caked in filth. Right. So, you know, yeah. And that's okay. Right. But it's good that you're aware. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, but isn't that maladaptive that we're talking about the squish that comes from the palms and we're already talking about the fingernails? Like, wouldn't we call that maladaptive because, like, the squish is all about the palm would be cleaner, but now we're talking about the nails. Tim, so I then, don't want to embarrass you, but I did say that we're not imputing intention. And just calling things randomly maladaptive is really, really a bad idea because everything can be perceived as maladaptive. We could connect everything to everything and everything could be anything, yeah. right? No. So that's yeah. why I want to minimize that and shut it off. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, so um, I'm going to play the video again and uh, I'd like to see if any of you see anything that's interesting. Right? Oh, well, just, I just wanted to say really quick. Oh, right. Just Sorry, Brian. Gonna, I don't mean to forget you. I just, the last, the thing at the end is, uh, is I, uh, I, well, obviously, I, there's the thing at the end, which is uh, a stupid mistake, where I locked the door, you know, and then, uh, and, and it was just a dumb mistake. It's just all I wanted. That was just, that was obviously stupid, I guess, is what I wanted to say. All right. Well, thanks for that. Okay. Um, so, does anyone have something and Aaron if you could actually jump up on the video so we can start sure. through because um, I'm curious if people are seeing things that we're not seeing obviously we didn't really do a rigorous go through of the video <laughs> right we just kind of looked at what we looked at yeah. but I'm, I'm curious if people are seeing things there and I would like to know does anyone want to sort of sh oh you, you would like to okay I'll come by excuse me if you don't mind getting up so what's your name Hannah, hi, I'm hi. Peter. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, what, I think it's when he's done washing his hands the way he like spritzes them into oh. the sink. Can we go to that? When is that in the video? Do you think it's in the middle? Is there a, oh, right at the end, right at the end when he's washing, when yeah. he's like right when he finishes. Yeah. Okay, let's go to that. 
Oh, after this or before? No, 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 before no, 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 I'm not familiar with these controls. It's my first time seeing it. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. Three, four. Brian, Brian, what's going on there? Uh, yeah, um, I in that moment, I guess. Uh, I mean, is it that weird? I, I guess is that isn't that, isn't that kind of nor like more of a normal thing, right? Isn't that is that weird? Why is did it stick out to you? It was just the way in which he did it. And what was that way? Be specific. Um, it was felt awkward and performative. It felt awkward and performative. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Okay, well. Tim, wait yeah. a second. Um, yeah. Brian, were oh. you feeling awkward and performative in that moment? It, it, honestly, thank you um, for saying that because sometimes it's a little, it's a little weird with this stuff, you know, and, and, and I never know what we're going to use here, so sometimes, uh, I just, I'll get in my head about stuff, you know, while yeah. I'm doing it just because of the, the, work, right. the work, right? Like yeah. camera consciousness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. totally. All right. You can uh, take a seat. Yeah. Thank you so much, Hannah. That was really great. And you thank can you, take Hannah. a seat again. I apologize for thank, uh, thank you. moving in there. Um, does anyone else know? Woo! Glad I caught that, you know? Um, does anyone else want to say something? You'd like to? Okay. I'm coming over. I've arrived. Okay. Hi. So, your name? Daniel. Hi, Daniel. I'm Peter. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> okay, so what did you see? Uh, I noticed when he was washing his hands, there, I was kind of struck with how he, he rubbed his thumbs. It almost was like, a, reminded me of like squeezing toothpaste out of a toothpaste tube, this sort of rubbing, and, and it almost felt kind of vigorous. Okay, so that's a lot of metaphor, right? Yes, I'm sorry. So that's yeah. not very interesting to me. Does anyone have... <laughs> So does anyone have, you have something back there? Hello. Just tell everyone your name. I'm Sam. Hi. Uh, I noticed that he, there's two options for soap, soap and he used the um, wet one. Ah, the interesting. Liquid. The wet and liquid one. Yeah. Ah, okay. Um, Brian? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like uh, liquid soap better. And what do you like about it? Um, I guess, uh, I, I just, <laughs> the, Sorry, sorry. I'll be super fast. The dry, the dry soap. I guess it's like I always ever since like I was a kid. Like it kind of weirded me out. Like just how there's like hair on it or whatever. So I, I just always preferred the liquid. Okay. Okay, Tim. Yeah. What's up? So I just think that it's kind of natural that if he said his hands were already dirty from carrying up the trash from work, that when you have like a dry soap or a harder soap, that sometimes you can make that dirty. So I think there's actually sort of, oh, there's, a, there's a natural uh, uh, attraction to the liquid soap because oh. you self-contain the dirt in your hands and then l leave it in the sink, literally leave it in the sink where if it's when, if you use the dry soap or the bar soap, you could then infect you can infect that soap with your own dirtiness and then not leave it, leave it in the sink. Tim, I'm gonna interrupt. I see something really amazing right over here. Look at the viscosity of this soap. It comes out in a, in a, in a rope, in a string, like that. I've, okay. never, I've never seen soap do that. that, that I've seen, that's, I think that's pretty normal. I think that's, <laughs> that's not in my experience. I, I just, I think, I've, I think I've seen soap do that before. I have also seen soap do that. <laughs> but it is interesting to see it documented. Who else wants to say something? Okay, I'm walking over. <coughs> I'll be there shortly. <coughs> Pardon me. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Uh, William. Hi, William. Uh, I was struck by the coughing that happened a couple times. Mm -hmm. um, it didn't seem like there was any, if the arm moved to cover the cough. Um, mm -hmm. And I wondered if that was intentional. Oh, interesting. Brian? I guess I should do that more. I, uh, I was just, my thinking, I guess, is like I was in the bathroom uh, and that. Can I'm we not, hear the yeah, cough a couple of it, times? Yeah. Yeah, and I think it's just from like vape, vaping or whatever, you know, it's not, I'm not. Right. Can we hear the cough a couple of times? Is that a cough or is that just a fall? <coughs> oh, there it is. I guess my hands are kind of busy too. I guess, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go but back. Can we right. hear the cough again? All right, and one more time. Okay. Tim. Yeah, so I actually noticed something right here too where his hands 
uh, started going straight for the paper towel. The one hand, the right hand, uh -huh. went straight for the paper towel. But then, and he could have just grabbed it right there and torn it off. Right. But instead, he immediately moved his right hand to the right side of the towel and then used his left hand to create leverage on the whole roll, tearing it off. So it was an interesting moment, but motion of going straight towards <laughs> and then deviating, getting the other hand involved and pulling it off. That's not necessarily related to the coughing, but that's a good example of how noticing something can lead you to something else. All right. <laughs> Last one, anyone else? What's going on? Oh, over there? A long journey. You, name? Felipe. I'm kind of curious, I'm kind of curious about when you go in, there's like a broom on the ground. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. But you don't pick it up. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, yeah. Uh, you know, it's the back room at work where there's there's kind of just a lot of Can stuff. Can we freeze on the it, broom? Guess, like... Can we freeze on the broom? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I was just career, yeah. that is yeah. excellent, Felipe, because I was just going to ask, what is that? Yeah. Already knowing, and hoping you would know as well. Do you step right over so, it? Yeah. You step right over it? Uh, I don't really remember. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah that's right yeah. over it. Right that's over right it. Over yeah, it. Yeah. Directly <laughs> over it. I, I guess, I like. Yeah, you step right over yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I just, you know, um, I didn't put it there, I guess. So I guess I just didn't think about it. Like, I, like I, that I had to pick it up. Like, I had to, uh, you know, that I had to clean it, I guess. Yeah. All right. Cause, yeah. Good. Well, we do this all the time. <laughs> and it's something that's really important to us. So um, we're actually coming to the end now, but um, just can you give a hand for these gentlemen? And would you uh, all mind leaving? Sure. So I'm actually going to do something similar to what they did at the beginning, which is that I'm, I'm going to read something because I do want to be precise. Um, so uh, here I go. So thank you all for receiving us today. Um, we actually meet every week on 12th Street in Gowanus, uh, Brooklyn. And anyone is welcome to join, obviously. You don't need to identify as male to be a part of what we're doing. Um, it's just for people who are, um, who are more interested in becoming more aware and more in control of their behavior. However, something that I really, really do want to be super clear about, which is why I have this, is that we are a working group. We are not a support group. We do not sell redemption arcs here. We are not here to heal you or absolve you of your wrongdoings, and we certainly can't uncancel you. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, we're obviously in the business of harm reduction. We do believe, I mean, I really do believe that radical awareness can mitigate harm. But I do think it's more than that. You know, we're ambitious. We want to craft a new humanity. It, obviously, it won't happen in 10 years, and it, and it won't happen in 100 either. We're interested in that future. We want to engineer the new man, because the men we are right now are, <laughs> are shadows of the humans that we want to become. And that is the work, you know? That is the work. <laughs> it's not redemption, it's reinvention. And it's certainly not palliative, it's transformative. It's what I want. <laughs> For the world, you know. For all of us. And so, um, obviously, if you are interested in learning more about this, um, you can email me at, at gmail.com. I know we have some live streamers, so don't spam me, but 
And um, you can also text or call me. Thank you all so much, and have a good rest of your night. Let's go.